a new day, a new project. We're going to learn how to make a terminator. Why? Because they are very useful when you are using splitters for feeding your hotspots with antenna signal. You know, if you have a four ports, let's say splitter, but you have only two hotspots, then the other two empty ports should be covered with terminators or termination. Usually these uh, terminators have 50 ohms. Today we'll check the impedance in our LoRa band somehow. Let's call it uh, LoRa. So here I have my Nano VNA. Let's turn it on. I'm going to connect it to the computer, which evidently it's uh, on Smith. And uh, the goal is to have a terminator with a marker in this area here. If it's here, then we have the perfect 50 ohms terminator. For now, let's connect the device. Okay, USB mode. Let me have a, a band from 800 megahertz to 900 megahertz because it's, it's our playing ground, let's call it. Let me calibrate the measurings. Open air, sweep, of course. For a test, I'm going to use the 50 ohm load from Nano VNA. That's a Terminator 2, even if it's called load. Here I have my Kwitz KM601 multimeter, very good one. You can buy it from the link uh, in the description, discount. I really recommend this guy. It's really nice to have it around, okay? So let's measure the resistance you know the real electric resistance here and we have 51 ohms now we connect this to the nano vna port one or port zero in fact and let's have a sweep and there we go people look at the blue one in the middle of the band 856 megahertz what we have to look for is these parameters here. First of all, you see the impedance is very low. Minus 370.24 pico Henry. And of course the resistance is 58.9 ohms. And now, like I said, we'll try to reproduce this guy here. Of course the goal is to have a 50 ohm and that should go a little bit to the left. But if we change the band, let's say uh, 200 megahertz to 300 megahertz. Let's check it here. Oh, okay. They went down to the capacitive uh, area. Down here is the capacitive area and up here it's the impedance. I mean, the uh, inductance area. Okay. Like I said before, the frequency is very important too. Let's go back to our domain. And uh, the point is that we have to look for this number and let's try to reproduce these numbers. All right, here we have 47, 47 ohms, pretty close with 50. And of course we need a connector and that's why I'm going to use for now one of these RPSMA mail. Why? Because it fits perfect with my Nano VNA. But, of course, you can use the connectors for your needs. And, uh, by the way, try to avoid a lot of connectors in the chain. Rule number one, as less as possible connectors. And now, let's have this resistor solder it between middle pin and, of course, the ground. This is flux fumes. It smells like rosin because it is rosin. So that's the first attempt. Very easy to be done. Now, if we have this connected to the nano VNA. Oh, there we go. Look at number three. So we have a 47.5 ohms. That's pretty okay. But the point is that we have this impedance here that's why we are in the upper part of the screen the goal is to 
take this and move it down here all right so what we can do let me have a kind of isolation to the middle pin and for shielding i'm going to use a simple piece of aluminium foil we have to be sure that the ground is connected properly to the case let me check that yeah perfect continuity port zero and sweep remember these numbers here so we have 4.3 nano henry this is very important and let's sweep okay so now we have 2.75 nano henry and uh, 45.59 ohms the things are getting better the goal is to have it here we have to get rid of this impedance here that inductance is making problems not in a dangerous way you can use it like that of course but let's try to make it even better how to keep the resistor legs at least to the middle point as short as possible okay so let me take the resistor out for now ts100 my best friend still running good almost two years since i changed the display and it's still running great no problems at all okay let me cut this and let me try to have a different approach i'm gonna have this sum as close as possible to the to the middle pin and somehow in between those legs there okay got you let's check that yeah we got the resistance here as it should be now same story let me have a kind of uh, isolation we can use a piece of paper to avoid shorting the middle pin just like that and foil like I said, the idea is to avoid shorting the middle pin. Foil. Yes. Let's try now. Remember these numbers here. Remember the position of the blue marker. Number three. And let's go. Ooh. 2.7127. So, no improvement? How comes? That's something wrong here. Ooh, there is a short there for sure. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, let me check if we have a proper earth contact here. Yeah, we are good. Let's try now. Yeah, getting closer. Serial 3.13, it should be better. Let's try some more. Let me let me try another position here for the resistor. Middle pin isolation. Middle pin. Stay there. Let's try now. There we go, people. Much better. So the inductance went down to 2.1761. We are pretty close with the number. This can be used without any problems but i want it better i want it better how can we do that let me see i'm gonna have this resistance uh, connection as short as possible of course it can be another kind of resistor because these are pretty big and inductive we can use SMD for better results I'm sure there we go okay like that let's see what's happening now you know it's try and error 
always protect middle pin. We don't want any short to the ground. Let's see now. Remember, look at these numbers here, 2.1, and look at the position of uh, number three marker. Oh, even worse. But worst, okay. Let's not say worst. You know, it's it's okay. Uh, the resistance now it's 50 ohms. It's very dependable of frequencies and so on. And uh, this can be used. This can be used without any problems. Let me try another resistor. Let's see, 47. Yeah. And let me have another kind of configuration. Let's, let's put it this way. Very close to the input. And here we have the ground. I'm not soldiering that. Here we go. Sweep 2.6 nano yari. Okay. Now let's have the, the shield. Protect middle pin. Good to go. Let's see. Number three, the blue one. Yeah, much better. 1.91 something. So we are getting pretty close. Okay, so uh, from 200 to 300 megahertz, we have even a better response here. Let's follow the, the blue one. And we have uh, minus 520, where is, oh, 779 Pico Henry. So like I said before, the fragrance is very important. Let's go back to 800 megahertz to 900 megahertz. And let's see. So you can see that we, it's even better. We have a minus 3.8 nano Henry. We still have an inductance there, but you know something? Let me try some more uh, ground. Let's have some more tape thicker. Let's see if it matters. Of course, a uh, whole metal case should be better in our situation. All right. Oh yeah, look, much better. <laughs> Almost to the middle of the things. All right, let's have some more. So the foil was too thin. Yeah, around here. So uh, finally, it needs a proper case and uh, short legs resistor or something. Anyway, this is a pretty usable terminator. No problem with that, I see no problem. Okay, let's, let me go down to, let's say 500 to 900. Let's see what's happening. Yes, interesting. Let's go here, 300 megahertz to 500 megahertz. You see, the fragrance is very important. Let's go higher. 1000 megahertz to 2500 megahertz. Let's go. Ooh, interesting. And back to Laura band. Yeah, so we have the same inductance, but let's go narrow. 850 megahertz to uh, 875 megahertz. They are all together there in the inductive upper plan. So let's have some more metal here. Let me see if I can put this. It's a metal tube. There we go. And sweep. Look at marker number three here. Wow. Even more induction. And without five point something how comes what have i done here i moved all these parts okay so it's nice to experiment with it. so the point is that the resist should be as close as possible to the middle pin and uh, good shielding too and this is a perfect useful terminator it can be used with no problems that's it <laughs> okay i hope you like it please like please subscribe and uh, the most important thing, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.